Hello beautiful people, welcome to March 2020 with me Julie Poole. This is your angelic guidance for the month of March for each of the 12 signs and it's good for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus and for cross watching which is when you watch it for somebody else that's near and dear to you. If this reading resonates please do leave a comment below. I receive this reading which helps you to align with the energies of it. If you haven't already, please do click that subscribe button and that little bell notification so you don't miss a thing and join the online family. You'll also find an extended reading version for March. The link is below if you'd like to purchase it. It'll take you to my website. You'll also find there your angelic guidance for the whole year 2020 for each of the 12 signs if you're interested in that. All right, my darlings, let's crack on. Let's have a look what March has got in store for us. <music> Hello my lovely Librans, how are you for March my lovelies? Let's see what's happening for you. Things have been speeding up for you since January, getting better and better and better. So let's see where we are by March. How are we for Libra please? So your main, yay! <laughs> your main energy for the month is the Nine of Cups. This is the wish fulfillment card. One of your dreams, wishes, hopes coming to fruition. Let's see what else they want to tell you for March. I'm going to pull a few and then we'll look at them together. You've got the chariot. Great, we're moving forward at a rate of knots now. We've got the knight of coins. So new money coming towards you, new security. I want another two, I think. And we'll look at these and then we'll go for other cards after. Page of coins. Page of Coins and the Knight of Coins, we've definitely got offers coming in, action towards more money, more security, which I know many of you need badly. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords, you're moving away from difficult times into better times, and the Ace of Wands, lovely. Yay! Okay, let's look at this together then, Libra. So your first card out, this beautiful nine of cups so nines are all about almost there almost there and now we're starting to see some of what you want coming through this isn't all of your wishes and dreams coming together but it's certainly one of them sometimes more than one but this is a beautiful energy of celebration of happiness of Oh, just feeling so, so much better. And my goodness me, you deserve it. You so deserve it. It's been a rough ride for you this last six months particularly. So we're moving into better times. Now, we're going to be moving quite quickly because you've got the chariot here. Major arcana, lots of movement, lots of forward flow. And the energy of the universe moving you forward. If you look at the waves there that the, the chariot is riding, harnessing the power of the waves to be able to ride like a surfer where it needs to go. So we are shifting forward now quickly towards those goals. And for many of you, those goals are about security, having enough, not having to struggle, getting out of the struggle and moving towards an easier time and that's what you want. So you've got the page and you've got the night. Now pages are the beginnings of new money coming towards you. This can be a pay rise, this can be um, the opportunity for promotion for those of you who, who are looking for that. Some of you um, who are business people, this could be a new client, a new contract, a new customers coming forward here. This absolutely could be new products as well. They're telling me that you, you're you selling something new now. You're offering something new, a new service, a new product coming forward. Now, that will take time to build because the Knight of Coins is quite slow moving. He's not fast, all right? He plods along, 
but he gets there in the end and when he gets there he's there to stay so we're not bringing in something that is fleeting for now it's not something that is a stepping stone it is where you want to land okay so he takes his time this can be taking anything up to up to your birthday really so about six or seven months I'm not saying it's not going to come till then but it's building up and building up increasing um, and it's already started so March is the time where that energy starts to come forward for you bringing it in so if this is a promotion for you you may find that you, you get that job in March but you don't start till April or May or um, they want you to start straight away but they've got you on a lower salary for now until you've proved yourself until you've done your probation until you've brought in a project then you get the payout um, this could be a bonus that will come at the end of the project so this is why there could be a delay but the work is going on now and you will see the benefits of that coming in over the next few months but it's beginning now which is lovely and what this is doing is helping you to move away from difficult times from troubled waters from challenging times from oh stress you've had you've had such a stressful time many of you Librans I know and I can tell that um, just certainly looking at the figures of um, the amount of people that have watched Libras that have watched my videos in January are double what you would normally um, which tells me that you're looking for some guidance because things are a bit a bit iffy a bit difficult for you so we're moving out of that now as we approach March we're moving out of that sticky time troubled waters money starting to get easier um, firmer foundation coming in we're moving to better times now we've got the moon there on the back of this card and so there is a, a very powerful full moon in Virgo early March. So this is going to really help draw that energy in all the way through March for you from that point. So early March, we're moving into this new beginning with the Ace of Wands. This is a new job, a new project, a new passion, a new enthusiasm, a new positivity, the power coming in and it's fated, it's destined, it's meant to be. Uh, whenever we see the aces, it's a gift that you have earned and deserved and now it's time. It's time for that to come in and come good for you, Libra. We'll look at it in more detail in the extended, but that that's what they want me to tell you about with those cards. Let's move on to some advice now. Advice from the... No, went back in. Advice from the uh, beautiful um, Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay, so we've got, to be fair milk and honey put them down there for a moment i want another couple to be fair this is this is justice coming in for you co-create and one more serendipity lovely that's confirmation for what i just gave you on that ace because you see aces they are fated destined serendipitous meant to be okay and here comes this card to confirm that for some of you who are feeling very hard done by that you've had to struggle this long um, this is letting you know that everything is about divine timing and that there, there was nothing that you could have done different to have brought it in any earlier all right, fate, destiny, serendipity is about timing, things falling into place, the universe rearranging itself to make things happen for you. And some of those things are going on behind the scenes with the universe, and this is where we trust. They know what they're doing, they know what the timing should be, and they're on it. So 
it's meant to be. March is the month where it starts to really come together for you. Um, you're the seventh reading I've done so far and each reading is a similar vein that March is this very powerful time. And the thing is with March is the beginning of the new astrological year as we go to airy season. It's the main new year for in terms of astrology, this is new beginnings. And so we do expect to see an upliftment in March. Um, not just because it's spring, because that's only the northern hemisphere. Um, and you guys down south are going into your autumn. So it's not just about that spring energy of rebirth. But it is this astrological new season new beginning new cycle new wheel of fortune that's the energy i'm feeling here for you now they're giving you to be fair and milk and honey this is fairness balance equilibrium what you deserve you've worked for it you've waited sometimes patiently sometimes not so patiently and that's all right we all have a little rant and event every now and again and that's fine but you are now coming into the fairness of you receiving all the hard work that you've put in you're now being able to, to take it out you're co-creating with the universe you've decided what you wanted this isn't an accident nobody's given this to you you've aligned yourself with the success with the prosperity with the ease that's now moving towards you you've aligned yourself with the justice and the fairness because you've done it right and you've done it fair and what goes around comes around the law of cause and effect so now you're starting to see the just rewards, okay? It is fair that you are now receiving your milk and honey. This is the sweetness of life, the goodness in life, the good things, the good times. This is what is meant to be for you. And you're co-creating this with the universe. All right, my darling. So what we've got here with this milk and honey, you've got a rainbow here showing you that, you know, the rainbow comes out after the storm. When the sun starts to come out and the storm clouds are passing, so then the rainbow comes. And what you've got in this bowl is this little baby elephant uh, playing in the milk and honey, the sweetness of life coming back because it's time, because you've earned it, and you deserve it. Now, let's see what the angels want to add, my lovelies. What do you want to say to my lovely Librans? Believe. <laughs> and I know it's hard when you've had such a tough time to hold the faith, to believe that things are getting better, to believe that all of your hard work will pay off. But hold that faith because as you believe it, you're aligning yourself with it and the law of attraction can kick in to bring you what you have aligned yourself with. So hold that faith. Know the angels are with you. The universe is with you and that it's coming good. All right, my darlings. So that is what I have for you. I'm going to go into this in more detail in the extended. Uh, for those of you who want to join me there, that would be lovely. But if not, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Thank you for your likes and shares and comments. I read everyone and I so appreciate them. Thank you. So have an extraordinary March. And I will look forward to seeing you for the weeklies. And if not, next month in April. You take care. Lots of love. My heart to yours. Bye-bye, Libra.